In this video, we're going to focus on enantiomers. Enantiomers are isomers with the same chemical formula, but they're non-superimposable mirror images of each other. Think of your left hand and your right hand. They're similar, but they're not exactly the same. Your left hand is a mirror image of your right hand. So this molecule has an enantiomer. For any type of molecule that has one chiral center, it's going to have one enantiomer. So how can we draw the enantiomer of this molecule? What we need to do is draw the mirror image of that molecule. So let's say the red line represents a mirror. So here's the carbon atom. We have a CH3 that should be faced in this mirror because we have one here. And then we have a hydrogen atom in the back, a chlorine atom at the top, and a bromine atom at the wedge. So that's how you can draw an enantiomer of a molecule. You simply need to draw the mirror image of that molecule. Now let's identify the configuration of each chiral carbon atom. So the group with the highest priority is the bromine atom because it has the highest atomic number. And then it's the chlorine atom, and then the methyl group, and then the hydrogen. Now the hydrogen is on, it's on the dash, so it's where it needs to be. So it's going into the page, which is what we want. So all we need to do is count it from 1 to 2 to 3, ignoring 4. And so what we have is the R configuration, since we're rotating it clockwise. Now the enantiomer needs to have the opposite configuration. So bromine is still going to be number 1, chlorine is 2, methyl is 3, H is 4. So we're going to count it from 1 to 2 to 3, and so we're going counterclockwise, and so we have the S configuration. So whenever you have one chiral center, you automatically have an enantiomer, and the enantiomers will always have opposite configurations. If you have a molecule with two chiral centers, then to draw the enantiomer, simply reverse both chiral centers, their configurations. And make sure that the molecule doesn't have a line of symmetry. Otherwise, it could be a meso compound. Here's another example that you could try. So go ahead and draw the enantiomer for this molecule. So let's draw the mirror first. And this time, the chlorine is going to be faced in the left side, as opposed to the right side. And then we have the bromine at the top. And then the hydrogen is facing away from the mirror. And then we have the methyl group, which we could write it like this. Now, let's assign the configuration to each chiral center. So this is going to be group number 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this time, the H is on the wedge. So because it's coming out of the page, what we need to do is we need to reverse it. So if we count it this way, 1 to 2 to 3, it appears to be R. But because H is in the front and not in the back, we need to reverse it. So what we have is the S isomer. Now for the chiral center at the right, this is number 1, number 2, 3, and 4. So we need to count it from 1 to 2 to 3. And so it appears to be S, but H is in the front, so we need to reverse it. And so we're going to get the R isomer. So as you can see, the configurations are opposite from each other. Now go ahead and draw the enantiomer for these two Fischer projections. So feel free to pause the video as you try these examples. So let's start with the first example. So let's draw the mirror. All we need to do is basically reverse hydrogen and fluorine to draw the enantiomer. And so it's going to look like this. And that's all we need to do for the first example. 
Now for the second one, we need to reverse the bromine atom with the hydrogen and the hydrogen with the chlorine. And so the enantiomer is going to look like this. So bromine is going to be facing towards the mirror, in this case the blue line, and so is the hydrogen atom. So here bromine was on the right side and now it's on the left side. And here the hydrogen was on the right, now it's on the left. So you just got to reverse the groups in the Fischer projection to draw the enantiomer. So how would you draw the enantiomer of this molecule? So the bromine is on the wedge. All you need to do is put it on the dash. And so that's how you can draw the enantiomer for that molecule. Try this one. So let's say we have two substituents, a bromine atom and a chlorine atom. Go ahead and draw the enantiomer of that molecule. So the bromine is on the wedge, just reverse it and put it on a dash. The chlorine is on a dash, now we need to place it on the wedge. And so that's a simple way in which we could draw the enantiomer without drawing uh, or using a mirror. Try this one. Draw the enantiomer of this molecule. So one way is we can draw the mirror image of it. And so that's one way we can draw the enantiomer. The other way is I'm going to redraw the original molecule. And if we're going to keep the bromine atoms in the same position, all we need to do is switch the wedge with the dash and vice versa. So here we have a wedge. Let's replace it with a dash. And here there's a wedge. I mean, there's a dash. So let's replace that with a wedge. And so that's how we can draw the enantiomer of this molecule. That's another way that we can do it, just by changing the configuration of the chiral centers.